Today I'm going to go over a theory that I have been kind of bouncing around in my head over the past few days about the new Tool album, Fear Inoculum. This uh, may cause some controversy among the uh, Tool community, so comment below if you agree or disagree. If you're a Tool fan, I'd love to hear your take on this. But without further ado, here is my theory on the meaning behind the Tool Fear Inoculum album. So here we go. I believe Fear Inoculum is Tool's way of releasing a greatest hits album. Here's why. I don't think Tool would ever release a greatest hits album in the common sense of a greatest hits album where normally a greatest hits album is literally the original recording of their top songs all on one album. So you may have two songs from their first album, one or two songs from their second album, etc. But they are still the original recordings assembled on a new album in a new track order. And if you've ever seen an interview with Maynard, he's very specific about you're supposed to listen to his albums in their entirety in order because apparently there's a story to each album and each song is important to that story. So to take songs out of each album and put them on a new album as they were originally, it'd be like taking chapters from different books and putting them all in the same book. To me as an artist, that wouldn't make sense. I'm sure to him as an artist, that doesn't make sense. So backing up to why my theory is that this is a greatest hits album in Tool's eyes. If you listen to track one specifically and go back and listen to the best songs on the first and second album, track one is an amalgamation of those best songs. You can hear hints of the chords, the beat structure, the way the vocals were recorded with the effects. Track one is very much a tribute to the beginning of Tool as a band. Track two, you start to see the same thing. It's more of their second and third album. They're starting to evolve. They're starting to change their style a little, but they're still talking about the same things in the first and second song that they were talking about in the first and second albums. Then you get into track three and the other tracks that are like track three where it's very ambient and very free flowing. I think if you know anything about bands and how they put music together, I believe these guys were again trying to make a greatest hits album so they were playing these songs that they had prepared based on the albums but in the middle of those songs you have these warm-up sessions these jam sessions these kind of getting the spider webs and rust off of the old joints and and knocking the dust off of the the equipment you warm up and you get back kind of into sync with one another and I feel that those like track three those are the tracks that they were kind of getting back together and and re-syncing and re-meshing and they very well may be kind of exploring a time where they were between the second and third album kind of figuring out where to go next and what to do next and that time off and touring and etc so these these real ambient tracks can be either explanative of them rehearsing and warming up to make these new greatest hits and kind of showing the time between albums where there's just this ether of not knowing and energy and, and music and they're off doing their own things. So then you get into track four and again it goes back towards their third and fourth album. You start to hear those same notes, those same types of chord structures and beats and it continues on. Track six and track seven you're getting more of a, like the perfect circle kind of uh, Pussifer kind of feel and you know very singy very orchestral choruses of guitars track nine very reminiscent of all of their voices together all of the albums together reimagining that old feeling of playing big shows together but again each track kind of has that underlying message in the lyrics that 
speaks to the album that it's kind of emulating i guess like i said this is just my theory the more i listen to the tracks the more i kind of hear instances of the album that it's emulating and the more i'll pick up on subtle hints of oh that reminds me of you know lateralis or that reminds me of schism or that reminds me of h and i'll go back and i'll listen to those tracks and it'll reinforce it I'll really, really start noticing more when I listen to the original track. And that's why I really truly believe that's what he's trying to accomplish in this album is this is their greatest hits. They wouldn't do it any other way, I don't think. I, I really truly believe if they were to release a greatest hits album that this would be the way they would do it. So I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Comment below if you agree or disagree. I'd love to hear your take on it. If you're a Tool fan, you've probably been analyzing their tracks for years anyway. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Hit like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.